everybody, welcome back to Red Tool House. Today, we're not at Red Tool House. Where are we, Kel? We are at the Homesteaders of America Conference in Virginia. Is this too close? That's yeah. a little close. Well, I don't want, to, I want the mic to be able to pick us up. Yeah, so uh, this is our fourth trip to the HOA and really enjoying it. It's day two. So we spent yesterday uh, going to some seminars, of course, just going around networking, meeting some people, run into some fellow YouTubers, had some good conversations there, and uh, uh, meeting some, some really nice people. But what we wanted to do with this video, instead of just kind of uh, kind of going around and just showing what's here, we wanted to talk about specific things that we felt after going around spending the day. These are the things that we had to add. We had to add to the homestead just because of seeing some neat things. So what you're going to see here are a, a list of products, and I'm shooting this intro because I haven't completed the list yet. So you're going to see a list of products that we purchased with our own money, so we are not sponsored at yep. this point. Uh, it is not uh, anything that's influenced that way. It's stuff that we saw. It's like, we got to have this, and we need to add it. So um, enjoy this. We'll go through this list and introduce. I'm going to give the opportunity for uh, the people that have this product or service an opportunity to speak. And we'll catch you guys on the tail end and maybe do a little summary of what. Uh, All right, so one other thing that we discovered here at the Homesteaders Conference is John Moody's literature. And this is John. Welcome, John. Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, appreciate John taking the time to stop and talk with us. So, John. How would you do, what's your elevator speech? How would you describe what you do when it comes to your, your literature and your educational elements? So I started writing and speaking um, primarily because I wanted to see homesteaders succeed. And I meet so many people, you know, there's that mem on social media, you know, that um, I just got my first tomato. It was the best $200 <laughs> in six months <laughs> right, of my life. Right, exactly. Um, and that really, it really upset me. Because a lot of people think of homesteading, um, self-sufficiency, as a step in the wrong direction. Right. You know, well, you're, you could be doing so many other more productive things. You could be doing things that actually generate value for your family. Um, and so I wanted to show people you can homestead successfully. You don't have to waste all of your time picking weeds. You don't have to waste tens of thousands of dollars buying equipment. Um, to raise food, to raise animals, and to improve your family's standard of living. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so so we were able to hear John speak yesterday, and he did a discussion on weeds, and that's the first thing I did is I ran over and I grabbed one of his books here about that, because you guys watching the channel, you know, still grass is wearing us out, and we've got some other issues there. So the pigs and the chickens utilizing uh, those things, along with some of the tips that John has for us here. So John, if, if somebody wanted to buy, and obviously it's not just this book, you've got multiple uh, books that you've published, correct? Yeah, we and, have four and, or five books now. Yeah, and it's kind of, uh, uh, kind of spreads the gamut, right? Because we've got sourdough, we've uh -huh. got uh, elderberry, uh, you, you do some work with Joel Salins, do, right? Yeah. Don't you guys do the rogue food movement? Yeah, Joel and I do rogue food conference yeah. together. Yeah, okay, great, so. great. So if, if any of our viewers would want to buy your book if they're not here, are you? do you have online purchase opportunities? Yeah, my website is johnwmoody.com. Um, don't go to johnmoody.com, that's some hippie guitarist in California, <laughs> gotta get the W. Um, and if you're interested in rogue food, it's just look up the rogue food conference. Awesome, so, awesome. Man, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's great thank having you. you all here. All right. All right, so another product that we ran into that we want to feature is from Hatching Time. Right? So this is Ryan. Ryan is a co-owner, owner, co-owner, co-owner of Hatching Time, and man, they've got a really nice booth set up. I'm going to pan this way real quick. Incubation, brooding, breeding, processing, and plucking. We have yeah. it all from farm to table. So really like what they put together here as far as uh, as complete systems. So if you're looking for something turnkey, uh, then it's really handy. So what we've done, I'm gonna set my pack down here. What we purchased from them are killing cones. And these killing cones, oh, thank you. Thanks, Ryan. So these killing cones are made out of ABS plastic. And the design that, I, that really caught my attention about this over any other killing cones, if you wouldn't mind, Ryan, show the end there. Explain what you guys have done in the design here of that. Yeah, so it's lipped, so when you have just a straight funnel, you really can't 
like put the bird all the way through. So this allows the bird's body to actually get in there while you're fully holding the wings back and then have enough room to obviously process the bird. Yeah. So if you guys have watched the channel, you've seen when we rent the trailer, we have the six station killing cone. Those stainless steel cones, they taper so much that we have to lay boards across the, the top of the, the cones to keep the birds from jumping out. Yep. So this cone, I really like this, the fact that it's it's deeper like that. So we're going to get a couple of these cones. Uh, so when we're, we don't have the trailer and we're doing smaller processing, then we'd have that ability. And what's neat is the way they have these made, these mounting holes on top. So you can go with the wall mount or the pole mount, which is what we're going to go with. But they also fit their station. So here's a, a tabletop station that you can use. And it's my understanding this is this is expandable, correct? Um, or, so it comes in two, three different options. You can have a single, double, or triple cone. Awesome. And then yeah, all the blood would drop to the bottom here, and then you can easily take these out, clean them up, and then put them right back in. Yeah. So, so the benefit of ABS, uh, Ryan, I assume, is obviously it's, it's UV stable, right? UV stable, definitely more sanitary. Durable yeah. and yeah, with the metal, you got to worry about sharp edges, and then you obviously know potential concerns and huge biosecurity hazard. Plastic solves everything. You can power wash it down, and yeah, this will last for a while. This cool. is some really heavy duty plastic. Awesome. Well, tell real quick if you wouldn't mind, give me your elevator speech about the business. Can I, maybe just quick history of the business and, and where you are located and how yeah. you handle online sales. Yeah, we're. We used to form four years ago and www.hatchingtime.com and it's all e-commerce right now. We sell across all of North America, expanding into South America and yeah, everything from farm to table. Awesome, awesome. Well, I definitely appreciate your time and appreciate yeah. a good product. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> right, take care. And they will be writing down numbers. I don't know if that's specific. I don't know if they weigh like all right, so another product that we had, actually Kelly made me stop here, and I'm glad we purchased yesterday because you guys sold are out. sold out. So this is Julie with Redmond. Yes, I'm from Redmond Real Salt. So if you guys are not familiar with Redmond Salt, it is fantastic. So we've we've been using it for a couple of years on the human side, yeah. but Julie was introducing and educating me on the fact that there's way more than just the human side, correct? Uh, yes, we have our little shakers here. This is our Redmond Real Salt. And we also do uh, bentonite clay products. So we do an earth powder, an earth paste, and this is like a first aid uh, bentonite clay, good for bug bites, bruises, rashes, anything. Um, and then also our animals love salt, and so we do have some ag products as well. Um, our salt comes from Redmond, Utah. We mine it 800 feet underground, and it's from a dried up ocean. Um, it was called the Sundance Sea back in the day. Our salt is actually dated back to the Jurassic time period, so we call it ancient sea salt. Very cool. So this is actually a chunk of salt right here in my hand that I just grabbed out of the box, right? So that's... Yeah, this right here is what it looks like straight from our salt mine and all we do is crumble it off the wall. We don't use any explosives and we put it right into the shaker for you so it's unrefined and it has all the 75 trace minerals that your body needs and craves. Yeah, so that's that was the thing that, that got our attention and, and Kelly used it uh, when we're cooking. As you guys know, we do a lot of campfire cooking and all those type of stuff so she started incorporating that more but why, why is it more important and even with the smoking curing that we're doing why is it more important to use salt like that versus yeah iodized you just salt? really want a high quality salt that does not have any fillers if you look at your salt in your pantry chances are it's not just salt some even have dextrose which is um, you know just not good for you so you want a high quality sea salt with minerals and ours is mined oh it just went off it goes to sleep yeah it's okay ours is mined in the USA which is a huge plus if you're using Himalayan pink salt that comes from Pakistan that's far away you don't know their mining practices you don't know if they're using explosives we have really strict mining practices and we also um, we own and operate the mine and so we know exactly how we're doing it we don't do child labor we treat our employees fair um, and it's just pristine and clear you know clean pure salt um, yeah we do have a new fun product out I'll introduce you to this is called Redmond Relight and we sell it in little stick packs or jars yeah. and it's an awesome product to stay hydrated um, everyone is dehydrated yeah. so we take our salt we add in pack potassium and magnesium and uh, turn it into this amazing hydration drink yeah. so it's like a healthy Gatorade is what yeah. we say Cool. Yeah, and it's just, it's, yeah, really, really tasty, and um, you just feel a million times better once you start hydrating. Very good. So if, if 
So our audience is kind of across the country. Yes. How do they how do they acquire Redmond yes. products? Where can they go to get? Okay, it? you can go to redmond.like and we do ship internationally. Sometimes it can be a little bit pricier, and so we do have distributors with um, iHerb or some of these other uh, places that are international. And you can always send me a message on Real Salt um, on Instagram at Real Salt, and I can go ahead and answer that and send you the link on how to order it if you do live internationally. Um, we are also found Sprouts, um, Whole Foods, different uh, little chain yeah. grocery stores. Yeah, so we, we can only find the the real salt, and we get that at our, our local drug emporium, okay. which has a healthy life market. Right, but right. This, this is what I thought was neat. So Julia, she had this up, but she they were giving away free samples of these little mini salt shakers, and we've already used ours uh, just just to, because we, yeah. we, we eat lunch in a truck. So uh, just, just really good stuff. And well, once you start using our salt, we honestly say we will warn you, we're turning you into a salt snob <laughs> because you can only use the real good stuff, which is in this little shaker here. So you have to bring us with you everywhere you go. Yeah, yeah. When, when we do uh, bacon and egg Saturdays, it's it's Redmond salt only. It's yeah. Just, yeah you oh, can't, awesome. Thank you. You can't put anything else on, on the eggs, the farm eggs. Oh, it's just, yeah. just not the same. Well, I appreciate yes. you taking oh, the time. Okay. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Hey, look at this guy. How's it going, Andy? Hey, how are you? No. Right, man. How are you guys doing? We're doing pretty well. I could be a little bit warmer, but other than that, I'm okay. I understand. All right. Yep. From there. Okay. And then we're gonna learn how to hand hew our. That's exactly right. Good talk, Reeves. <laughs> I couldn't come here without stopping and talking to Andy and Doug. You guys have heard them on the podcast, episode 38. Actually, it was Doug, right? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't even on it. Yeah, yeah sorry, it was Andy. We'll, we'll have to get Andy on there. Yeah, because you were sitting at the end of the driveway doing that. I was up the hill. Yeah, yeah exactly. Up the hill. So uh, we're going to be doing, hopefully, going to be doing some other episodes with them. I haven't told you guys that yet, but I'd like to reach out to you and do some other stuff. Sure, sure. I know you've got a lot of, uh, 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 got a lot of classes Workshop. coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, We'll talk about that, and you can see that over on the pasture pig. All right, so the uh, conference is winding down. In fact, it's time to get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, we're staying another night here, and then we'll be going to camp tomorrow. Our good friends Matt and Heather have joined us as well. They've uh, they've been with us all weekend. Matt evidently has to go somewhere and dig some holes. It looks like so he's going to be working on that. <laughs> but uh, but again, I wanted to share those products with you because that's what really latched onto us. Now there was a there was a fourth one we wanted to do, but they sold out. And uh, not they sold out as in they, they, they've gone the wrong direction. They were out of inventory. But it was a rocket stove company. I'm going to post some information to them below in the description as well. Uh, American made here uh, in North Carolina, I believe is what I said, right? But um, really neat rocket stoves that are doing portable, those type of things. Even making them out of ammo boxes. It's pretty cool. But I'll share that with you all. Well, appreciate you all coming along with us on the conference. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.